Morning, everybody. Morning. Praise the Lord. Glad to see everybody here this morning. We also want to take the time to thank people over there on the internet and all around the world for watching us today. Also, want to take the time to say to everybody out there around the world, Happy Mother's Day. So, today, the Lord has put something kind of special on my heart. And something a lot of people have talked about that, you know, needs to be done in a way. And get a little bit of an idea of what we're up against. And that would be, I'm going to be talking about Satan today. Straight and full bore. Not sugarcoating it, not leaving it alone. So, if you could, we're going to go ahead and open up the scripture. And it's going to be in the book of Jude. Most people say Job, but it's actually Jude. Job? That be it, Job 2. We are going to be going through verses in chapter 1, verse 6 through 12. I'll let you all get a second to get there. Because, and the, and the main reason why we need to discuss this is as a congregation, we need to rebuke him Amen. in every way, shape, and form. Amen. We need to beat him back down into the ground whence he's come from. But also, there are a few things a lot of people didn't know about Satan. And haven't known about Satan. And it's right here in this book. So, I'm going to go ahead and read here. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to presence themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. Very interesting. Satan came among them? Mm -hmm. Now, why would Satan come among them? Mm -hmm. Any of you got an idea? To learn their ways. Exactly. Mm -hmm. To know exactly what's going on. And to know exactly how we do what we do. Further, it says, And the Lord says unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and from in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. So what's that mean, folks? That man can come and go as he pleases. He can walk around, be here, be there, be anywhere and not even worry about it and walk actually right beside you and look like Jesus Christ himself and knows the word very well and you'll believe oh I have Jesus with me you need to know the truth you need to know what's going on you need to feel what's going on and know that if that is Jesus standing next to you or if that is Satan standing next to you Amen. You have to know these things. Yep. Furthermore, it goes on and says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Hastest thou considered my servant Job, mm -hmm. that there is none like him on earth, and perfect and upright man, one that feareth God, and sishweth evil. Then Satan answered to the Lord and said, Doeth Job fear God for naught? My partake on that is Satan is trying to find out, Can I take this one with me? Can I have this person with me? Because he fears God. 
That means I can keep that fear and hold on to it and use it at my advantage, how I see fit with it to be used. Mm. Not to be. We are to fear God, but we are to fear the presence of God as a supreme being, as a person who can change and make our lives better for what we do. Goes on. Hast not thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thy hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power only upon himself but not forth thy hand so satan went forth from the presence of the lord i'm going to leave a little note that we have down here in the bottom of our bible study books god permitted or permits but does not order satan to test Job, Satan's power is always exercised under the control of God. He is limited by the ultimate power of God. Now, I don't know if you know it or not. You know, hopefully, that Satan was one of Jesus, God's angels at one time mm -hmm. then God had sent certain angels to do certain things well he had sent him down there to take care of the people that needed to be taken care of that were down there and guard those gates he ended up changing it and became the king and lord of those gates down there but he has limited power and the only limited power that he has is the power that you give him. The power that you feel that if you want to accept him, he's there. You want to open the door and welcome him in, he's there. He doesn't have a problem in it. But he will twist you, manipulate you, and change you in every way, shape, or form. The only person you should be letting in that door is Jesus Christ and God himself. Amen. Amen. Nobody else. You let them in. You make that house strong. You make that house part of the Lord. And the Lord will grant you everything that you have earned through his sight. You beat that ground down. You stomp that floor. You destroy him and make him stay there. Because on the day of retribution, God's going to come and he's going to throw him in them fiery pits. And he's going to burn and stay there for another thousand years. And be gone. We need this, folks. We need this bad. That world out there is getting worse and worse every day. Satan is just destroying it beyond all recollection. Kids are getting hurt. Schools are getting tore up. People are getting into accidents. Things are happening left and right. We've got to stay focused with God because the day he blows that first trumpet, we need to be ready. Yep. We need to be ready. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Because when he calls me, by God is my witness, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm going to stand there with my sword in my hand and I'm going to fight like there is no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm done, I'll keep fighting. And I suggest you all do the same. Because as a number and as a group that we are, we can fight him and defeat him. Mm -hmm. And we can get him out of our hearts. And we can get yeah. 
things done and get things handled and let God grace this world like he should. Thank you, Jesus. And I do need grace. Amen. So, with that being said, in closing, I am hoping that you all, each and every single one of you, sit down, read this word, read this book. Don't memorize it. Just read it. Let it fill your heart. Let it be the way you walk, the way you feel. Let that light shine through each and every one of you. Let people walk up to you and say, what is it that you got? What is it that's whole, just got you going crazy? And you turn around and say, I got Jesus Christ. What you got? Nah. Nah. And I mean that. So let's bow our heads. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you so very much for the wonderful words that you have put through my heart and put on each and every one of these people as we sit there and beat down and destroy Satan as you show us in your word that we will rejoice in your glory, Lord, by your son dying on that cross. And we will put each and everybody up and put everybody where they need to be. We will be that beacon of light that shines through. And we will make sure that we are in your army when you are ready for us to do what we need to do in your glorious, glorious way. As a wonderful congregation, we say this all in your gracious Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.